Hi guys, I'm uh, going to show you something that is for the most people obvious, but for some maybe not, right? So do watch the start videos. I've made so many videos how to install Arclinux and these lines I just went over from top to bottom and bottom to top, they mean something. That's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is that there are two major decisions when you install Arclinux. One is an old image because we're starting up with the ISO of January. It's beginning of February, February, which means that mostly Arclinux got updates. And that's the big difference. We're going to call this one, I think, easy installation. And this is going to be advanced installation. There is a consequence. Beginner installation is just the ISO the way it is in January. It's going to be put on the system. It's not going to be updated. So it will basically always work. And it's an on the beach installation, so to speak. There is no need for internet. It just works out of the box. Great, no problem. And there are no very difficult decisions to be made. There's very simple, straightforward installation of your system. Nothing will be downloaded, nothing will be updated. The difference is advanced installation. You need a lot of knowledge. You need the internet. You can't sit at the beach. You need to have the internet. There has to be connection. Otherwise, None of these things that you select will be installed. It will not crash, but it will not be installed, right? What I wanted of the reason to make this video is to tell people, look, I'm not selecting anything here, right? I'm not selecting anything. But the more you select, the longer it will take to download all these packages plus install all these packages. And if, even if, and that's why I make the video, even if you say, and you know, I'm, I'm experimenting with BTRFS these days, even if you do not select packages, the updates of Arch Linux will come as well. So in a month's time, it's around one gigabyte, two gigabytes of download. Well, no, probably one gigabyte download, two gigabyte extracted, something like that. We'll see it shortly in this video. So what I'm going to do in the meantime as well, combo video, is install BTRFS, the packages for Snapper, and tell, of course, uh, that's a given. I have to tell him to erase the disk and format as BTRFS, and any of the choices are good. So maybe this answers a question if you're using advanced you're downloading you're installing and the more you download and the more you install you'll see that it is around here that the slider is not moving at all but of course it's working it's working just fine and if you want to keep track actually of um, is it still working did i crash did it crash right file system in the root folder, right mouse click, open folder as root, in the root folder, in the control H, let's do it without keyboard shortcuts, view, show hidden files, control H, dot cache, calamares, he's busy. Open it up with the editor you like, and this is a faster one, sublime text. And there you go. Put it to the side. This can go, that can go. And it's working, right? It's unpacking an image. And here is all the text. It gives you a log file. And you'll see, if you choose the advanced, that it's gonna download everything. It's gonna install everything. And I've just installed a few packages, right? Decided to install extra things for BTRFS, and that's it. But there is the other big mass, big chunk of updates that is called Arch Linux. So let's uh, wait for the where, well, I'll pause the video and start again if we are more or less around that area. 
So let's um, have a look. So it says for a long while, probably install packages. I know. I know. Remember, Calamaris is a free <laughs> install, right? Free, as in be happy that we get it. And at some point in time, it will. I don't know if it's still. I think it's still not reflecting what it's doing. So uh, we'll wait for it. But we see already keys, updating keys, the Arch Linux keyring. Yeah, very important guy, and being installed. So let's wait for everything to be installed because at some point in time it will try to reload please yes thank you uh su is update right running update everything which means it's actually going to upgrade update an entire operating system it hasn't been updated since probably end december something like that <clears throat> And then suddenly, right? Suddenly, voila, text. Suddenly, things change again. Reload, 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 reload. And then we scroll down. And then see what now. Then we see what's going on. Okay. So replace. Remember these things, right? H W I D S with core H W data. Yes, no. Quantum Q T five with quantum. You remember quasip with quasip Q T five. Yes, no. So all these things are one downloaded, two installed, and it has the feeling, it gives you the feeling that it's gonna last forever and it's kind of frozen, but it's not. As you see, in exchange for your patience, you get a up-to-date system. There is nothing to do anymore after updating this is all updates and upgrades a long long list of updates and upgrades <laughs> and the keys the keys is something specific to arch Linux. still upgrading still upgrading right still upgrading so it's a long list and just be aware of the fact that that's happening that's that service because in the end result voila let's boot up and then i can later show you another tutorial about ptrfs but this is old school right the iso of january select whatever was available back at the time we'll make other sub volumes in the next one but these are the sub volumes from calamaris but the video is there to tell hey be patient watch the log if you want right watch the log if you want but if you update and if you reboot, there is literally nothing to do. And that's the big difference between the easy installation and, and the advanced installation. All right, have fun.